सो हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू गाइज हाउ वॉज योर पेपर आई थिंक योर पेपर हैज बिन गोन इन वेरी परफेक्ट मैनर एंड दैट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो सर द सी एस क्वेश्चन आर वेरी ईजी टू मॉडरेट आई थिंक वी कैन सी दैट और लिटिल बिट वी कैन सी दैट दैट इज ईजियर साइड ओनली राइट सो बाई डियर फ्रेंड एंड वन थिंग मोर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू मैथ्स एप्टीट्यूड वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी ईजी नॉट दैट मच ऑफ टफ अदर टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट इज ऑलरेडी ईजी ऑलरेडी यू गाइज आर अवेयर अबाउट दोज थिंग्स If I want to discuss about the digital electronics, right? First, let's start with the digital electronics. Sir. In the digital electronics, total four question came, and uh, in which the total marks you can feel total six marks question came, and the, all the questions are already the predicted question, and they are slightly uh, we can say that uh, they are taking data has been changed, but it will similar to the previous year questions only. Two questions of two marks and two question of one marks. Total six marks question came into the digital electronics. Overall. the questions of the digital electronics all the questions of the digital electronics uh, were very easy right so this is all about the digital electronics sir not that much of tough if the student is studied about our the crash course or uh, that is the one shot series then they are able to solve each and every questions of the digital electronics sir what about the digital uh, discrete mathematics uh, sir uh, if i'll be talking about discrete mathematics which is basically divided into four modules so first let's talk about a graph theory so every year i used to tell out to all the students uh, if you will be having a one question from a graph theory 100% it will be very straight forward or it uh, it does not have a linking with other subjects but okay. if you are getting a two questions then 100% the graph theory questions it will link either with computer network or dbms or os or algo but this year uh, one question which was based on a chromatic number and second question which is based on uh, the number of vertices and it has linked with uh, algorithm let's talk about the mathematical logic if i'll be talking about so every year i used to tell to all my students uh, you are having a six different type of uh six different types in mathematical logic so even if you'll be going and even if you'll be trying to understand the six different types you can easily uh, try to solve the questions and this year the question uh, which is based on a nested quantifier and it belongs to type 5 categories which i used to teach and let's talk about the set theory in the set theory i think there was two question which is based on set theory one was group theory which was predictable Uh, every year i used to say that not every year uh, past 2 to 3 years i used to say that please prepare the group theory and go in examination and this year also there was a question on group theory it was easy uh, those those people who have studied about the group theory and the second one it was based on the onto it was a very beautiful question not very tough but it was very beautiful beautiful in the sense uh, it is having the connections in terms of onto function has been connected with recurrence relation so two concept has been uh, clubbed into one particular concept and in combinatorix if i'll be talking about as i always says that ki be aware of recurrence relation in generating functions because it takes time to write it down because if you miss one of the terms in recurrence relation or generating functions you will be might be having a problem but this year recurrence relation question it was uh, they have given a very classical problem actually uh, they have given a very classical problem with respect to the recurrence relation okay so uh, we can say that with respect to recurrence relation it was based on a fibonacci sequence but initial condition has been changed okay so this was all about discrete mathematics and it came around for 9 marks let's talk about uh, computer network and we will ask to ankit dwela sir and he will be explaining to us uh, so in the computer network there was five question uh, one question from ip actually computer i divide always computer network into six to seven topics first topic is ip addressing subnetting and supernetting uh, second topic is flow control third topic is uh, error control and fourth topic is ipv4 header and fragmentation fifth topic is tcp header and congestion control and uh, next is application layer protocol and next is routing algorithm so in the gate 2023 there was one question from ip addressing subnetting and supernetting concept okay there was very simple question okay and one question from flow control i always tell flow control is really very important concept every year either stop and wait gbn or esa there will be one question so this year there was one question from stop and wait protocol and next there was a one question from routing algorithm this question was very simple routing algorithm and one question from tcp wrap around time this question was also very simple and one question from application layer protocol dns so overall computer network there was five questions and uh, level is easy to moderate we can say so now uh, pankaj sir will discuss regarding the c programming data structure and algorithm 
Thank you, sir. Hello, everyone. Uh, coming to C programming and data structure, all the questions, those questions, uh, asked questions were so easy. I don't even say they were moderate. All the questions, all, I hope six to seven questions were asked, and all the questions are very easy questions. And as per the expectation, expected topics, coming to, coming to functions, there was a direct question. Uh, activation record was uh, there, I hope. And there is a question on static variable. And there was a question on stack and queues, combined questions, uh, based on the basic operation on stack and queues. And there was a question on heap, which of the following represent a max heap. And there was a question on trees, although a recursive code was given and they asked what is the output to be printed. If you know how to make recursion tree and if you know how to trace the recursion tree, uh, I don't think so that within one to two minutes you didn't, don't get the answer. There was a question on hashing, again, uh, most expected topic. Uh, so all the questions, six to seven questions were very easy. Uh, let me talk about algorithm also as Khalil sir is not here. So coming to algorithm, three questions were asked. As, as expected, one, one direct question from complexity, that is a small omega or a small o question was there. And another question is from heap. They asked about the complexity of heap operation, either I hope delete, minimum, delete maximum and inserting a key into a heap. And we all know that takes log n of Time. And there was a question on single linked list, doubly linked list deletion. We know the complexity. So coming to C, D, S algorithm, almost 15 to 16 marks were there. And I don't think so. Any single question were moderate. As per me, all the questions, all the questions are very easy. So next, Malisham sir will discuss uh, TOC and compiler design. Sir. Thank you, Pankaj sir. Now, when it comes to TOC and compiler, the marks weightage, weightage is uh, 16 marks. It is too high. Uh, as per my expectation, I always expect 12 to 14 marks, but that 16 is really high. But anyhow, uh, when it comes to overall uh, the paper for TOC and compiler, the one question from TOC is moderate and one question from compiler is moderate. Remaining all the questions are easy. Total 10 questions are there from TOC and compiler, where six questions from TOC and four questions from compiler. So if you look at the six questions from TOC, three questions only asked from the first topic, which is regular languages, where it is very easy, like in NFA or context-free grammar, number of states in DFA, or writing regular expression, uh, and identifying epsilon NFA, or intersection of languages, or you know, uh, identifying the language access by PDA. All these questions are easy. In that, only the PDA question is moderate. Uh, remaining five questions are easy comes to compiler design, you know, theoretical questions are always there from compiler. One is a uh, difference between front end and back end. There are three statements out of them, two statements were very easy. And surprise is like, you know, every year you see one question from parsing, but this year there is no question from parsing. So there is a surprise from compiler design. And other question is from SDT, which is so easy. And uh, we know that is uh, code optimization is a new topic in C CD. So we, uh, we may predict that uh, last year also there was one question, and this year they asked about live variables. Other question is from assembly, but I do not aware of that. But still, they, all the questions from TOC and compiler are so easy. I hope you have done very well. And now India's best faculty for DBMS CO is ready for sharing his uh, overview. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So if you're talking about the DBMS, there is only three questions from the DBMS. And if you're talking about the DBMS level, it's very, very easy because there is a one question from very simple asking about the degree of the relation and one question from the SQL query. But that query is very, very simple, asking a very simple query and one question from the primary index and all three questions we can categorize into very, very simple. But this year we can't get any question either from the normal form or transaction. This is also most expected topic. But if I'm talking about the DBMS, all three questions, you will get full marks. And if you are talking about the COA, till now we get only two questions. One question from the mapping. Uh, cache mapping, uh, we have to find set associative mapping is given, we have to find the number of bit for a tag bit. And one question from a pipelining and it is very, very simple question. Three stage was given and asking about the execution time for 100 instruction. So we are talking about these two COA question, it's also easy, but DBMS very, very easy. So this is uh, all about the data which we get till now. So next to Ankit uh, sir. Uh, sir, actually what, uh, what actually I, I listened to all the faculties regarding yes, to the subject. Earlier, there are the parameter that easy, moderate, and tough. 
Now for the gate 2023, only the three parameters there. One is easy. Second one is very easy. Very easy. Third one is very, very easy. Very, very easy. So for the, for the uh, uh, DBMS, that is yes, very, sir. very easy. Digital electron is very easy. Discrete mathematics, easy. And Correct. CN, moderate. easy. Moderate, there is no moderate, sir. <laughs> right, easy. So like that, all the parameter has been changed for the gate 2023, but yes. By the 2023 or and by the analysis of the 2023, we are not able to predict the questions or we are not able to predict the paper level or difficulty level for gate 2024. Yes, correct. So the student who are preparing for the gate 2024, you have to think, okay, okay, this type of the question they ask into the 2023, but in the 2024, you have to revise or you have to study all the topics because we can never, gate is all about the unexpected, sir. We can, we can never predict anything. This is always unpredictable. So always you have to prepare that maybe in 2024, uh, if the question were or question will ask in very difficult manner, you are able to solve it. If the question were with, uh, will ask in very easy manner, then also you are able to solve it. So you have to prepare in such a way. What about, sir, Pankaj, uh, sir? Uh, let me quote uh, Khalil, sir, world that you must prepare for the worst case. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for the worst case. So you will perform in the best case. Always, always expect the unexpected. Coming to any competitive exam, always expect the unexpected. In, in this year, sir, in this year, uh, the, all the questions in this year they ask, that is always, you can say that the similar to the previous year only. Because the number of questions, MSQ, NAT, I think MSQ earlier also 15, in this year also same. For MSQ or NAT, uh, MCQ or NAT question has been changed, right? Two questions came a little bit lesser as compared to the previous year in the uh, NAT type. So all about in the next year, maybe the MSQ question is going to be increased or maybe it's going to be decreased. So whatever the question they will ask, you have to prepare according to that only. Right, sir? You, you can't make any prejudice that uh, MSQ would be like 15 or MSQ would be like 16. You can't make any decision based on this particular exam. You have to have to prepare every single topic coming to each subject. Definitely. And sir? This is the beauty of gate exam. Yes, sir. This is the beauty of gate exam. operating system. Okay, uh, now we will be talking about operating system. So, uh, you know, uh, the type of questions, what type of questions that has been came into operating system. And uh, Khalil sir, uh, respected Khalil sir, is not uh, right here uh, now. Uh, he is not with us, I mean, uh, right now. So, uh, Ankit sir will be telling about the operating system and uh, he will be discussing about it. Uh, sir, five questions were asked from the operating system. One question from CPU scheduling, very simple question. And one question from multi-level paging, uh, multi-level uh, paging question was also very simple. And one question from semaphore. And one question from page fault technique, LRU. Okay. And one question from threads. And all the five questions uh, from the operating system were, we can say, easy to moderate, not uh, very difficult. So operating system also this year, uh, not very difficult, this is very simple. One question direct from the Khalil sir, I think. Uh, huh, one, one, one question. One question from operating system and one question from uh, algorithm. Direct Directly from the classroom. Classroom. Okay. Yes, great. yes. Even the data, data do not have been changed. Data no, is no. also the same. Data same. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so this is actually all about the analysis, what we want to give it to you with respect to gate 2023. So those students who were having the problems, so we have also taken one session which is based on the analysis of uh, this gate 2023. And for gate 2024, we will be wishing a very best of luck uh, with respect to that. So on this note, we will would like to end this discussion here. Thank you very much. Thank All you very much. Values.